when heroes are no longer heroes. Look at verse 22 of chapter 5. Woe to those who are heroes at drinking wine, valiant men and mixing strong drink, who acquit the guilty for a bribe and deprive the innocent of his rights. The key to this woe are the words hero and valiant men. You wouldn't expect to see them in this context, but what a shame when the heroes of a community are those who can slug back an extra bottle of beer at the bar. That's a sad day for society when that's what a hero is defined as. Americans, remember when a hero was a 17-year-old or an 18-year-old who willingly volunteered to fight in World War II to protect their families and defend freedom from the tyranny of the likes of Adolf Hitler? Remember when heroes worked hard and actually picked up a second job to provide for their families? When heroes were inventors and astronauts and those who stood up for civil rights? Today, manhood and heroes are a complete sham. YouTubers and men who transition to being women are given awards and called heroic. There's nothing heroic about putting on women's clothing when you're a man. It's a disgrace to the Lord. 30-year-old single men live at home, play video games, drink beer, and watch pornography. The sitcoms portray men as stupid, sex-obsessed, and lazy, and often for good reason. Men sit on couches for hours, watching television and ball games, hours on their hobbies of fishing and, and cars and hunting, leaving behind their wives to take care of the important things in the house. Men, why is it that women and children are more concerned with the things of the Lord than us? the spiritual leaders of the household. God has called us to set the tone for our household, to lead our families to church, not the other way around. And I know I might be called ignorant or sexist here or something worse, but the Bible is clear. Men and women are different. Men, you are called to lead and sacrificially love your families. You're called to love your neighbor and to stand up for their rights, to love your kids. And when men no longer believe that they belong to God and they don't live out the intentions that God has for his life, you can be sure of this, society is headed for trouble. 34% of children grow up in homes without their fathers. Who will our young people look up to today as their role models? Who's going to teach them about what it means to be a hero? Now, I do think our society has done a better job with our women, but even so, it's a distorted picture. On the one hand, you have the hypersexualized woman, where it's all about how you look and your ability to attract men. On the other hand, I've got to be this all-competent woman, ever busy, who works 50 hours a week, cooks organic meals from the garden I'm growing, raises a family, and I also have my own private blog and company on the side. Right? <laughs> Foolishness. The Bible says a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Woe to celebrating bad heroes.